for our final project, we did basketball training. Our group members are me, Jamie Pham, Phoebe Duan, Helen Hu, and Zi Huang. For this presentation, we will first give you by a brief introduction about the sensor kinetic app that we use, the purpose of this project, the procedure how we did our activity, and then we discuss how we analyze the data, that including the data recording, structural discovery, and as well as some classification trees and prediction of the video. Um, last but not least, we talk about our limitations and some of the future research. Sensor Kinetics is an app for monitoring and understanding the motion from different perspectives provided by the specific sensors. We originally tried to use the gravity sensor to measure the displacement of the shoulder. However, we later discovered that due to the different initial positions, it's hard to compare the two players using this sensor. We later switched to the linear acceleration sensor because it includes 3D VR to demonstrate the linear acceleration concept and it will generate a chart to display the time axis as well as the XYZ space axis. The goal of this activity is to teach novice how to shoot a basketball and since there are so many factors that could contribute to a successful shot, we decided to only discuss one factor, that is the force. Thus, we will use the linear acceleration sensor to trace the acceleration that the player used on shot shooting. Our question of interest is how to better shoot a basketball, considering accelerations in different directions. We use the acceleration as an indicator of force because we have a formula that F equals M multiplies by A, and since we are using the same ball, the mass is the same, so the acceleration is the indicator for force. And we will achieve our activity goal by intervention from an expert to teach how to increase the force when shooting. The project goal is to apply the knowledge and skills we learned in the course to this project. We clean the data, discover the structure, and use classification and prediction to devise an intervention. I think after doing this project, we will have a better idea of applying these models in real analysis. Next, I will talk about our activity procedure. For the pre-interventions, we first tie the phone that has the app into the player arm. Then, an expert and novice can shoot 10 times. We then run the data set to discover whether or not there are any differences between the expert and the novice. Then, for the both interventions, the expert first keys the novice the new intervention. We then tie the phone into the novice dry arm again, and the novice then shoot 10 more times. We run the data set to see if there's any differences and also compare and predict. The first step we will take is to clean and merge the data. On the observed data, we have recorded the start time and time of each shot and the result of the shot. And we will use the time in the observed data as a cue to match with the data from the sensor. The clean data set will we produced will look like this picture. It will be a table containing seven variables, which is the time recorded by the sensor, the acceleration on XYZ axis at each time point, the order of the shot, shot and whether it is successful and whether it got to the height of the hoop. For the first step of structural discovery, we grab the overall graph for both the novice and expert. This graph represents acceleration for own 10 shot. Here you can see that the time picked for each graph represents the actual time when the person should. The blue here represents the x value, the orange represents the y value, and the gray represents the z value. But as you can see here, there's a lot of noise, and so we're not clear what value should use. We decided to use more sophisticated analysis. For the second step of the structure discovery, we use logistic regression to determine which uh, dimension or which variables to use in our data analysis. Um, first, we merge the data sets of the no novice uh, before the intervention, 
and the experts uh, data set. Um, our dependent variable here is whether or not this should make it to the hoop level. Um, our independent variables are all the dimensions that were recorded, x, y, and z of the acceleration. As you can see in our regression results, um, the acceleration on the x-axis turns out to have the most statistically significant impact on the probability of getting the ball to the hoop level um, with a p-value less than 0 0.05. There are definitely other factors that we wish we can measure during the study. For example, the anchor of the wrist that the player shoot, um, or the positions because um, our expert and lovers has different height. For future research, um, definitely we want to look at um, how to get the ball into the hoof, not just get into the level of the hoop. Uh, further distance between the the players and the hood so that we can measure some different body movement. Definitely, we also want to choose different angle to shoot and see whether or not that make a difference. Thank you for listening to our projects. I hope you learned something. Happy holidays, everyone.